Alright guys, English Bottles P here with the last unboxing video um, which which I have in store out of my collection. All the others were reviews and so is this one. I've got this one in August, something like that, because I was always looking for a British Airways 747 400 in the, in the um, Hogan British Airways library. And I finally found one which was in my shop. And I was really, I was really happy, but I was planning to get a one four hundred scale aircraft, but when I saw this, it was a hard choice because I've always wanted one of these and always wanted, and I wanted to start my one four hundred collection that day. But seeing that on the other aircraft, it was a difficult decision to make. I spent about an hour, almost half an hour, in the store deciding what to do. And in the end, I said, let's just go, let's just go with this one, because I've always wanted one. And here it is, the British Airways 747 400 in Hogan. And a lot of people are looking for this, loads of people are looking for this. And I'll tell you what, there's loads in store in England, they have them everywhere. Um, here's the box, adult collectible, British Airways, Hogan. Uh, and the game included. Back of the plane, they are nice. Most British Airways Library. Uh, got this for thirty pounds forty-five pence, which is one thousand five hundred baht in dollars. About thirty-eight forty between between that. Um, if I got this online, it would be a lot more. It'd be about fifty sixty, including shipping. But um, anyway, enough of that. Let's get down to the unboxing. And as a lot of you know, and sorry, in my last video I did say I, I'm, I've stopped collecting Hogan because I don't have that much space left for the um, Hogan aircraft. So one four hundred are now my my um, item. Let's, let's get the body out. Sorry. Yeah, so that's the body. Beautiful. It's a beautiful aircraft. Ah, oh, sorry, still got my Evo out. I'll compare those later. Let's get the tail on. There you go. Yeah, the te this one's a bit of a bummer to get in. I mean, you have to do so much. You have to add so much pressure and do a lot of um, slimming down to get the wings in. There we go, there's the body of the aircraft on. Landing gear, on the other hand, I'm not sure, I forgot how that went, but... But, but... I'm not sure how this will go, but... My odds are that it's going to get... I'm doing. I'll just start with the stand first of all, because that's the easiest. Yeah, see, even the stand pretty hard to get in. Ah. Ah. There you go. You got a lot of landing gear. The 747 aircraft, so. Uh, 
Nathan Gear, as usual, do well. That's what I love about Hogan. They always feature well in Nathan Gear, and they put as much detail into their aircraft as usual. I mean, for my case, I mean, the plastic models, Hogan, Hogan are the best. I mean, Skymax are just not. I mean, with the engines, you have to put them on separately, and some, and it gives it a really bad, bad mark. I mean, you saw my video on the A340 which is blown up which is one of my most viewed, viewed videos at the minute um, you put the engines on you take them off you put them on then you have to put the back on there then you have to put the front on there then you have to then that all becomes one engine shove it up and it goes in there so yeah you know uh, which way does this go in ah oh, here we go There you go. Other side. There you go. And there you have it. British Airways 747-400. I was really happy when I got this model and put it together. It, it's just phenomenal. I mean, from the front, that's what it looks like. So if you're getting on board in Heathrow, um, it would look really amazing. Just go like that and just go wee in there. Um, landing gear at the bottom, Rolls Royce engines, British Airways, do not stand, do not stand, and the be beautiful the Union. Union Jack Tail. I'm trying to collect as many aircraft from British Airways as possible from um, the 1400 scale. And I've just started doing that. And at the minute, I've got the A380. So, so that's a start at least. Registration G. Um, see if it says there. This camera doesn't focus on details, which is quite a bummer. It says, anyway, um, it says GBNLT. And on this side, it's got the um, Royal Mail. Onto the left hand side of the thing. Um, uh, what else details are there to show? Um, oh, yeah. Um, like I, I compare it with the um, 747 either way. And this is why I don't like. And this is why I like to keep them sitting down because the landing gear are so loose on Hogan, they keep falling out. There you go. There we are, just compare these two. Here we are. So that's the 7 from this angle. That's the 747. Lengthwise, <laughs> it's funny. Um, the Eve, the 7 300 er is, oh actually, not much, there's not much in it. Just point it upwards. So that's, so that's the nose. I think it's only just a bit longer. Yeah, so I think this trouble sum is only a, at least one or two foot longer. So, um, yeah, British Airways 747-400. If you wanted to go from the wing view, that's how it would look. First class, looking back, you'd be there, and above. That's how it would look, you'd have to look pretty far back. But downstairs wise, you're going about there. Um anyway, that's the stand, it just says British Airways. Lazy Hogan. Don't put the M aircraft there. Um anyway. Um so yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have time for today. Comment, resubscribe and the next video will be coming in a couple months. Thank you.